name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to read you a story that I wrote, which was for a whole series of books that have been used in schools in countries across the Caribbean. It's called Let's Go on a Shape Walk. Can you see the children there? And there's some shapes even in the t on the title cover. What's that? It's a circle and a diamond, and there's lots more shapes inside. So let's see what we can find. Look for shapes in the garden. Look for them on the rocks. Can you see the shapes? Are there circles? Are there rectangles? What else is there? Maybe there are some squares. Look for shapes at home. Look for them on your socks. What shape does she have on her socks? That's a fancy shape. That's a diamond. Shapes in the window, shapes on the door. The door is a rectangle. And there's another shape. That's a happy shape. That's a heart. More rectangles. And down on the floor you have ovals, which is a type of circle, kind of like an egg. Shapes on the wall, shapes on the floor. Shapes in the sky, shapes in the tree, shapes on the street shapes near the sea. Look at this shape. How many sides do you see? Should we count the sides together? One, two we can see, but we know that there are more sides to this box, right? It's a big box. So we're missing one here, three, in the back four, on this side five, and on the bottom that's six. Can you hold up six fingers? Six sides to that because it becomes something that's called a cube. Now, let's look at this shape. Does it have one side, two, or three? Raise your hand if you see three, and hold up the number three. What color is that? It's brown. Shapes down on the ground, shapes up in the air. Let's go on a shape walk, because shapes are everywhere. Now that's a short story, but I want you, if you like shapes, to look around your house, look around your room, look around outside, and see what shapes you can find and talk about them with your family. See who can find the most circles, who can find the most squares, who can find the most rectangles, even see if you see any diamonds, hearts, ovals, all the shapes you can see. Count them, look, talk about the colors just pay a little bit more attention when you walk around outside and you'll see shapes and you might even see numbers. So go on a shape walk this evening, tomorrow, next week with your family and, and talk about what you see and you'll remember my story because you'll be going, you'll be doing what the story is saying. Let's go on a shape walk. Hope you enjoyed my story today. Have a great one. Remember to read as often as you can. Bye!